Which one, the longest alligator or the longest crocodile? Here, um, the longest alligator is right now, but it's gonna get outgrown by a lot. Oh, wow. That, that's Beasley. That's Beasley. Yeah, that's Beasley. Look at that tail. That looks like Godzilla. It does. But, um, water. Yep, they'll just drink this water. It's just like somehow deer and uh, fish and all different types of animals will drink this water. But yeah, this is Jill and Boots. We also, we have five more alligators in this enclosure. We've got Crooks, uh, Henry, Del, Mather, who am I forgetting? Felicia, but yeah. These two are coming up right now because Boots is the alpha, so when Boots comes up, no one else does. But since Jill is a pair with him, um, he will allow her to come up. She's also very bold and she fights back. And the other gators don't. When they try to come up and they see Boots, they run away. She does it. She'll actually step on his face, hit him in the face with her tail. So she's not scared of him at all, even though she probably should be. <laughs> But yeah, y'all can see the difference between a fully grown female and a fully grown male. Mm -hmm. um, Jill is actually missing her front few toes because her and Jasper, that female that I was feeding in there, used to be together. And um, Jasper is a very aggressive alligator. She would bully her a lot, and so she bit off a few of her tails. Um, Jill is also missing like an inch or two of her tail, and that's going to also be from Jasper. That's why they are now separated and in two different ponds. Because they just couldn't to handle being to close to each other. There's Oreo. Oh, hey, Pendeja. From chirping the babies to hissing and yelling. Did you see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh they're, in that, they're in my middle pocket. Yeah. Eat it? Now it's just a mixture of food together they like. I would put it in there, not in your fingers, just throw it around where his head is. I know, I got more. Oh, that was a fail right there, sir. <laughs> It'll come over there, sit upside. <laughs> Yeah, he did.
or seven at the same uh -huh. time so um nile crocodiles will actually hunt in groups and so for that There's reason even though there. they're not the biggest nile crocodiles mm -hmm. they can do a lot of damage they'll team up on you chase you out of here pretty quick i've had to jump back there fences out of this enclosure Just before and stuff so you. um again i don't ever go in here alone this time of year especially because it's so hot these guys digest so fast they are pretty much like bottomless pits this time of year they just never stop eating but i want to save a piece of chicken for a big crocodile later on mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do i'm going to feed one here and i'm going to hold it up nice and high whoever jumps the highest gets the food Ooh. now quick question when they jump out of the water what are they using what pushes them oh their tail good job their tail i know that since he told us <laughs> Little one got uh, it. <laughs> I, got, I tried to get some pictures. And what's kind of funny pictures. is whenever we get my Rachy poo, you got bit in the back of your neck, didn't you? Yeah, I, I can see it. I don't know. Oh, those were babies. Here too. It doesn't want it right now. It's not hungry. It's cute. Oh, there's the pigs, Rach. There's your pigs. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her run. <laughs> I love her. He's cute. We need to take her to the jacket. <laughs> so cute. Aww. He needs root canal. Actually, at a full run, a gallop like a horse. It's very intimidating. So again, when we get into a lot of crocodile species, you'll learn that they would go after us if they had the chance to, unlike the alligators. 
indicators. They see us as a food source. These guys also see us as something that's edible. So um, we don't really look like old. <laughs> See how it's yeah, much smaller they get? Yeah. Right this is There's this piece that can jump 10 feet out of the ground. So again, just a very, very dangerous uh -huh. species Off the right ground, here. You've got to mess them up. Did y'all see yeah. this one right here in front of me? Must be a fight. Mm -hmm. Cece, is that you or oh. is that Cece? Yeah, this is uh, Cece right here. So, um, again, they gallop. They jump really well, too, like on fat land. Uh, whenever I'm up there on the hill, their jaws will actually hit this silver bar right here. Yeah, I've said them a couple times today, so again, I'm going to save this last piece for a big animal. But um, on our way to our big Orinoco crocodiles, we're going to have a belly. And does anybody remember Blanco? What does Blanco mean? He's the white alligator. He was from the Houston Zoo. There he is. Holy. I see Blanco. Oh, I'll watch it. Yeah. I did that, but he didn't. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's almost got it. Can you go over here? Oh, my goodness. You see those over there? Hey, Lucas. Come over here. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to get the picture of these real fast. Oh, yeah, God. You know, we're sleepy. They're sleeping. Oh, that's wide open. <laughs> You're like, hi. This guy is about a max size for a sultata. He's around. Because you got more? Isn't that cool? Yeah. You know that some... The whole pair of them are alive. You can't grab it. Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, my friend has some. Yeah, they have like raspberries and strawberries. Mm-hmm. They like fruit and vegetables. Can I say this? Can you just drop it on the tongue? Yeah. Just trying to make sure he doesn't get my fingertips. <laughs> That's the juice. Oh, that one's a boy. Whoa, look at yeah. that. Look at that jiggly bill. Oh, he's eating it. He's eating it. Yeah. Oh, God. Nice. Do you know if these are native to Madagascar? Yeah. Lemur rat. No, what at least to call them? Lemurs. Lemurs, yeah. The yes. Lemurs. Do you know the Lemurs. Lemurs. that section they have a kangaroo? <laughs> I'm gonna look at the kangaroo. Uh, I can, yeah. These guys live in very cool, dark places to begin with, so it's very comfortable for them. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no, 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 no. So the first one we're gonna see today is a leucistic rat snake. This snake is actually it's very similar to the white alligator that you saw today, Blanco. Uh, these are leucistic animals, which means they have a lot of white pigmentation, but also carry some dark pigmentation. So in her eyes, you can see she actually has some dark pigmentation, some black and blue. And in her skin tone, she doesn't have much dark pigmentation. Sometimes they'll have little blotches, uh, but she is 
pure white pretty much. She has a few little dark spots. Now, if you want to pet the snake, they look slimy or wet, but they're actually a very dry um, texture. Uh, they look slimy or wet because the reflection of their scales. Uh, but again, they are totally dry. Uh, now, rat snakes are really great at climbing. If you see a snake uh, on the roof or high up, like one time I did see a rat snake crawling in these raptors. Um, they are the best climbing snake in this area. They're very skinny, long snakes, and they can climb up their own body. They use their body as a ladder. Look at that. A lot of snakes, when I grab them by their tails, they can't get back up their tails. But these guys easily can. So great climber. People also call them chicken snakes because they crawl in chicken coops, eat chicken eggs, and small chickens. Uh, so this one's still growing. The biggest rat snake in this area was like six feet long. So uh, again, she's still young, still growing. So she'll get bigger. Um, and rat snakes' main diet, of course, is rats, but they eat other things as well. I'm gonna bring her around if y'all want to pet a snake today. You're gonna pet the snake. You're going to too. I'll pet the snake. Don't bother me. They're just babies. Those snakes don't bother me. It's you a little do effort it? Yeah. the things. Are you gonna do it? You gotta try at least once. Look at it. You gotta at least touch it once. Oh my god, you guys. Oh! Them boys are fearless. Liana will like this. Liana will like this. Gabe, too, to a point, except that he can't take feet. Gabe would have been. Oh, yeah, he'll been, yeah. You gonna do it, my man? You holding the snake. Oh, it is. Oh, oh wow. It's actually, the texture is cool. It feels like, I touched it. <laughs> I got a pick of it. I touch it. You touching it? He won't touch it. No, he don't like snakes. So they are born so tiny guys, and the crazy thing is they get so big from the time they're babies to the time they're adults. Because they're born about this big, and then one day they can get 12 to 13 feet, like Sultan or Dan or Boots, any of those big alligators you saw up front. Uh, so again, this guy's just one years old. He is taped up. At this age, they really do not try to bite um, at all. But if he's getting held by the public or touched by the public, we do tape just for safety reasons. But it's electrical tape. It's very soft tape. It doesn't hurt or damage the alligator scales. If you want to hold him for a picture, I'm going to come around. And you guys are going to put one hand right here behind his little armpits. He does wear deodorant. Don't worry. And then uh, you're going to put one hand on the tail. And this little maneuver right here will let him sit perfectly in your hands and let you get a good picture. If you try to hold him any other way, he might squirm on you. Or um, it just wouldn't be a good picture, okay? So make sure uh, you hold him just like this. And I'll come around and give everyone a chance.